you got pinto beans, you got your lima beans, you got navy beans, you got black eyed peas, you got peas, you got kidney beans, you got your black beans, black turtle beans, green There's beans, pea. you got fava beans. Oh, there's kidney beans. You ever heard of kidney beans? There's kidney beans. There's you got pork and beans. You got baked beans. You got red beans and rice. There's refried beans. There's... You got chickpeas. Where you going? Where you going? We will start with Tex. Tex, buddy, what are you doing? All right, y'all, that's the way Tex shows off. That makes him, he's cool. <laughs> buddy, what are you doing? He's doing dress up. Well, we're still experimenting with Tex and what he will eat and what he will not eat. And uh, y'all, excuse me, I'm videoing with one hand here. Um, the Kambach feeds is what we prefer. Now, I don't know the Kambach people, y'all, but I know that their feeds are not available here. And so, unfortunately, I have to uh, order that. And it's a little bit inconvenient. I'm gonna, uh, look, he's coming to me. I was going to walk over to him. I was going to walk over to him, and he's going to come get it. All right, that's even better. So trying new feeds so what i've done with this over here and i know that you guys who have a good eye can tell what i've done is i've mixed a little bit of the old feed with some of the new feed to see if i can kind of give him a little bit of a blend and guys he has no interest whatsoever man he is so finicky yeah i actually got that suggestion from one of you you said lester instead of just discounting the new feed altogether the stuff that's easier to buy and why don't you try to do a little bit of a blend a little mix and let him slowly wean himself off of the uh old stuff onto the new stuff that's easier to buy and as you can see he is going to pick out the old stuff look what he's doing have y'all ever seen as as smart a bull as this one he reminds me of when we used to go to grandma's house and she'd say, you have to eat that whole plate. You got to eat everything on your plate because there's people in China who are starving. Now, I don't know if that's even true. I don't think people in China are starving. Uh, but the thing is, uh, oh, P-Pat, man, P-Pat, that's my mom's mom, would make us eat everything on our plate. Now, I never had a problem eating my whole plate with my dad's mom. That was Nanny. Nanny man she cooked my kind of feed my, blah, 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 my kind of food nanny could cook my kind of food but p pat did not make my kind of food see p pat is a city girl oh y'all are gonna be mad p pat p pat my mom's mom is a california girl grew up there in the city and so this is my opinion and i know y'all are gonna be so mad at me she cooked like a city lady and guys i'm not being mean when i say this Cooking is cooking, and yes, I was grateful that, thank God, we have food, okay? I'm going to say that first. I'm going to deposit before withdrawal. I count my blessings, and I thank God that we had food. But, here we go. There is a difference between city cooking and country cooking. And if you're from the city, you might not realize that. If you've only had country food, you might not realize that. But if you've ever had a chance to experience a little bit of both, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Man, I can eat some country cooking, y'all. I can eat some country cooking, but I'm just not good with... You almost ran right through me. But I'm not so good with the city stuff. And so if I went to Nanny's house, I had no problem eating every bite on my plate but if i went to uh p pat's place 
I tell you what, and she said, I have to eat every bite. It was going to be a struggle. And I was doing just like tech. I did not. I've already fed y'all. Move. So the problem is, you know what? It's always a problem. I'm just going to say it. I'm trying to explain what the problem is, but let's just say that everything about us is a problem here. Look at Tex, guys. He's not going to eat. He's not going to eat it. Even with the blend, he's not going to eat it. He's going to sit there and scratch himself and try to find any excuse in the world not to eat. And it doesn't matter if there's kids starving in China or anywhere else in the world. Tex... Poor buddy. All right, we're gonna have to keep our search, keep the search open. I'm not gonna have a bull going into the winter months having to just force himself to eat. Guys, I've already fed you all, you little beggars. Fine, I'll get you a snack. Let's get him a snack and let's end this video because y'all been watching way too long. There we go. Let's get him a snack and we're gonna end this video. Y'all hold on, I'm, I'm working with one hand and my mouth. Come on, buddy. Wake up, old man. Let's go. I got some home cooking over here. Come on. Oh, man. Oh, man, everybody. Today, we're going to have to resort back to Old Faithful. Tex just loves home cooking. He loves home cooking. And... We cannot find a different kind of feed that he'll eat besides the old home cooking that we've always fed him. I have told y'all about how finicky he's been. This is one thing that he will eat. Look at this though. I finally had to just pour that out. It has sat here most of the day untouched. He will not eat it. It's just not his thing. I even tried doing a little combo mix as you can see, he's dug out most of these. Now, he likes these. And I had a half and half 50-50 mix. He's eaten these out. How can a bull find and pull these little tiny pellets out and leave this stuff here? That's, that's my tax, y'all. So I'm like, you know what, mess, screw it. I just gave him what he wanted. I just gave in and gave him what he wanted. Yeah, I do that sometimes. I just give in. Country cooking, Tex. Country cooking. Have y'all ever seen oh, that movie Forrest Gump where Bubba was sitting there with Forrest and he was naming all those different kinds of shrimp that he could make? That's kind of how my grandma was uh, when she would cook beans. I don't know why... But every time I think about country cooking, my mind immediately goes to beans. Like pork and beans. Because pork and beans are still beans. It don't matter if they come out of a can. It's country cooking, y'all. That's country cooking. That's what country cooking will do for you.